Love to me is one's personal definition. You know, it, it's, it stems from self-love, it stems from what your expectations are. It's just wanting to do absolutely any and everything for that person, but also in, in return. Like, I can think about the person I love and it'll just be an indescribable feeling. Like I am just like on cloud nine, you know, even if he just made me mad yesterday, thinking about him just makes me like so happy. Definition of love is genuine, compassion, kindness, uh, emotion. It, it's, it's very, it could be very ambiguous. Love is something, is, is I don't, it's hard to explain. I know that it's a mutual feeling, like somebody you can lean on, like somebody you could go to, you know, that you feel comfortable with, like your mom. This is something that you know is there, something that's gonna always be there. My def definition of love is to comp accept someone in all their flaws, to be the ability to accept someone all their flaws without changing them or changing yourself. Um, yes, I have one unhealthy relationship. It was kind of controlling, like, where are you, who you with, that type of stuff. It was, but I knew I had to get out of it, so I did, and I'm glad I had the strength to, because it could have led into a lot more. Nah, but like I said, I never had an abusive relationship because of what I seen when I was younger. And based on what I seen, told led me to believe to become a better man and to stop it and not let it happen within my relationships. Yeah, one un one unhealthy, my dad. One just I pay too many, too many. Now that I've actually viewed everything, it just seems like now that I take this definition and the video clips and apply it to what I've I know I've been through, they've all been unhealthy. All three of them were not healthy because the first one I was young, I, was, I, don't, I wouldn't even consider that a relationship for a 16, 17. Nah, that was kind of like puppy love type. Like somebody I was just, you know, I could be around, I could chill with that, you know, was cool until it got to a certain point of cheating and all that. And then it's time for me to go. And I can't say that. I didn't take nothing. You know, I wasn't stupid. But, and then the last one. I just was in for a year. We broke up last July. Um, it was okay. I mean, I was with him for a year. That was my longest relationship. That was my first real relationship at the same time. So it was hard. It was different, you know? It was real. It was actually real. But yeah, it wasn't healthy only because, like I said, coming to the seminar, I saw a lot of things that shouldn't have been done or that shouldn't have been said or that could have been carried a different way than what it was. Healthy, I'm gonna say one. <laughs> one. Just one. <laughs> In my years of life, just one. I have to say two. Two. The trust factor, it was just more of no, no lying, that's about it. I would say most of my relationships are pretty healthy besides um, one of my dad and you know that's in the works, I guess. I had one healthy relationship. I'm not too old, so it's okay. Quite a few, I mean. My most serious one is the one that's going on right now. I'm actually about to get married, so, yeah, thanks. I'm not, I mean, at the, okay, I've had three. I'm gonna just put it out there. I've had three, and I, my first one was 16, and he was 19, 17, he was 20. And then I was off for like a while, and then I just turned, tw I'm turning 21 this year. I was in a relationship 09. I was with him for a year, and I ain't even gonna fake. Now, coming to this seminar, I was emotionally, not emotionally, but mentally abused. 
and you don't, I you know what I'm saying, some things you wouldn't consider mentally, you know, being a mentally abused, but, like, looking back at everything, like, yeah, some things shouldn't have been said. I'm not going to say he was wrong. I'm not going to say anyone was wrong, but, yeah, it could have went way better. I learned a lot from this seminar. Um, basically, if I do, I mean, it's going to happen. I'm going to get in another relationship, no matter who is with or when it happens. I know from the last relationship I told you I was in um, last year, or the year before last, um, I'm not going to take a lot of stuff. Like, you're not going to come at me a certain way. You're not going to ask me why I'm going out and you know, you going out and you gonna tell me that you'd rather for me to stay in the house, like nah. Like, you know, we gonna have to work on things like that, you know. Up front, I guess the thing I would change up front is I'ma just let them know. Like I'm I'm straight up now. Like I guess from that real relationship, I'm like more upfront with everything from the break. Yeah, I learned a couple of life lessons, you know. Uh one life lesson that I did learn is in the heat of a situation when you feel like it's starting to escalate to get more violent or versatile versus you guys having the words, just walk away. It's just better to always just walk away, take a breather and come back to the situation and talk in a more calmly manner. That you be be a lot more open about things. Like things, it's, people are going through similar things. You know, just be a lot more open and just stand up for yourself. Um, yes. It just, it, this seminar just only evoked the fact that I wanted to spread the word, the word, like, so much. I just, it touches home because of my personal situation, and abuse is a serious problem that most people encounter on a daily basis, and I just really want to spread the word, and just, I have to put a stop to it. Yes, the, I have... In my experience with domestic violence, I had to learn to forgive myself first. So I had to learn to forgive myself and then forgive others. Yeah, what love is, I took in, I took in what other people thought love was and I just put it into my own beliefs and just expanding what I do believe, so yeah. If someone doesn't have your best interest at heart, I think they don't love you. Simple.